Hey guys, just got home from work, about to start a workout. But I thought before I started with my workout, I would give you a quick tour of my home gym. So when COVID hit, I like the rest of the world, um, looked at the prospect of the next two to three months at home in quarantine and really got bummed out. <laughs> and of course the fact that all the gyms are closed down, I know that everybody out there who's a gym goer probably also had this collective just sigh of depression when we found out that we weren't gonna get to go to the gym for the next who knows how many months. I had always wanted my own home gym setup, but now seemed like the right time to actually pull the trigger. So I took the plunge and initially I got four pieces. So I got a power rack, I got a bench, I got some weights and I got a barbell. So the weights and the barbell came together as a set from Dick's. I think I got their 300 pound set, which comes with 255 pounds of weight, plus a really cheap Olympic barbell. I have since sold that cheap barbell that comes with that set and upgraded to a much nicer barbell from American Barbell. It's really nice. It's got a uh, black Cerakote finish. The bench also came from Dick's Sporting Goods. It was just kind of a basic uh, adjustable bench that they sell. I forget how much it was. I wanna say around the 100 to 150 mark. And then for one of the most important pieces, um, possibly the most important piece of your home gym equipment, right up there with the barbell, is the rack itself. This rack is a fitness reality rack i think it's the 810 xtl something like that they have this rack and then they have a commercial model their commercial model runs for around five to six hundred dollars at the time that i bought this rack it was i think 250 260 right now you can find it on amazon for 300 dollars uh, unless it's gone up since then hopefully it hasn't um, i think this rack is possibly the perfect rack for somebody who's not gonna be lifting a ton of weight uh, and wants an affordable rack to get started off with. I and mean, honestly, you know, I say get started off with, I'm, I may never upgrade this, I may never have a reason to. I certainly am not gonna be benching or squatting 800 pounds. So unless you're moving more than 800 pounds, this rack is gonna be perfect for you. Um, it does come with these basic uh, hooks here, which I have since upgraded. Upgraded to a J-hook, which a J-hook is a little bit more slick. And the reason I bought really, the reason I upgraded to a J-hook is because I wanted something with the plastic coating there so that it doesn't scratch your bar. This rack has the pull-up bar here with a couple of different options um, for grip. You can take the wide grip, or you can do a neutral grip, or you can just do the classic shoulder length overhand grip. This rack was not hard to set up at all. I think it took me like an hour. I did it by myself. Anybody could do it. The only thing that might bug some more advanced lifters is the fact that the options for the holes, or I guess the hole spacing, it's a little bit wider set um, than some of the racks in more commercial gyms. Um, I know some of the racks have lots more holes so that you have more options for adjusting the length of the arms or the hooks. This one has less options, but it's never really been an issue for me. I'll put a link in the description of this video to this power rack so that you can check it out for yourself. Um, I wish I was getting some sort of acknowledgement or payment from Amazon or from Fitness Reality, but I'm not. It's really just because I love this rack and I want you guys to check it out if you haven't already. So that's really all you need to get started. You just need a bench, a bar, weights, and some sort of mechanism to hold the weight. Be it a full cage power rack or a half rack option. There's lots of different options out there. Um, if you're on the fence still, odds are at this point after going through a national pandemic that if, if you were on the fence, you've either bought one or you've invested some money in free weights like dumbbells or ropes or something, cables, what have you. But if you are one of the few people that are still on the fence, I highly recommend the Fitness Reality. 
So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it somewhat informative. Um, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question if you got a question about the rack or anything else. Um, I might do a little more in-depth look at some more of the equipment that I use because I do have more than just the rack. Um, but I'll save that for a future video. So um, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.